Today, I'm going to look at the question, is cannabis good for you? Hello everyone, my name is Randy Kane and I'm the Humble Grower. Cannabis is now legal in Canada and I'm here to show you what I know about this amazing plant. Yes, it's a very interesting question, is cannabis good for you? Probably a couple of ways to look at this. One would be the non-medical and the medical. I'll start with the non-medical. On the non-medical side, if you're wondering whether it could be good for you, does it make you a better person, does it, you know, those are maybe personal aspects that you would want to look at. You know, running, is that good for me? Yes, it, it's actually, it's a way of venting my energies and it builds my body. Those are great things. But I think much of how we're looking at these things when we start weighing the good and the bad on sort of a personal level is based upon what we've been led to believe from propaganda, from the prohibition, you know, the, the, that which supported the prohibition, you know, the, the whole idea that this would not be good for you and was there anything good that you could find. So I think that that's a very, different, a very separate sort of a, an issue to look at in terms of that is just to understand, I think it's quite neutral. I, I don't look at my use, is it good for me or is it bad for me, per se. I just use it and I, I don't feel any detrimental effects. Nobody's ever died from it, so we have to look at it that regard. Flip side, now if we start looking at the medical, is cannabis good for you? There has been many cases now where they're finding that in fact it does improve quality of life. It can, you know, remove certain pains and anxieties. It can remove stresses and strains. But that's a, that's a medical application or a therapeutic application, which is, once again, rather unique. Um, that, even though regrettably, has a lot of propaganda that surrounds it, which limits people's access, which is really a challenge. I, I find that to be probably one of the worst things that I've seen come out of prohibition is, is that it's limited what would be considered bona fide use, medical access, that sort of thing. So those two worlds, looking at them both, um, medical, yes, I think I could say that. Non-medical, is it good for you? Um, it could be good, it could be bad, but I really would say that it's rather neutral. So think it through. Thank you very much. I hope you found this useful. I would also recommend that you watch the documentary Demystifying Cannabis on Canada's Legalization. You can access that by clicking on the link below.